Run. Welcome back to MVM Live. I'm here today with a special guest, David Waybright, who you'll recognize from our other MVM programming. And today we're playing Naga Raja, which, David, this was like one of your favorite games, right? It was. I played this last year at Gen Con. I got to put my mic on. We're professionals around here. <laughs> uh, last year at Gen Con, uh, when we were introduced to this and loved it. It's yeah. Bruno Catala, Theo Rivier, and it is a two-player, uh, real head-to-head -head sort of game that you're going to be pushing back and forth trying to make these Yeah, paths. and we've got it set up yep. here. Um, why don't you go ahead and, and explain what everyone is looking at? All right. So I've played this game a little bit more than everyone else here on the MVM team. So what you're looking at here is we're going to have two player boards. These are basically temples that we're going to be building out with these tiles here, with paths that go around them. Around those boards, you're going to see relics. Now, we're not showing you these things right now because three of these things are cursed. The other ones are not, but all of them are worth points. You want the cursed relics, right? You do no, not want, no, the, don't cursed want the cursed Actually, relics. Actually, you might want some cursed relics. What you don't want is three cursed relics. Okay. Um, there's a number of ways the game can end. We'll get to that in a second. But some of the other things you see here, we've got these cards. We each start with five of them. These are going to be uh, used in a couple different ways. One, to get some of these fate sticks, which are effectively dice that we're going to be rolling in order to, de to determine what we're going to be able to do. And then uh, finally, we've got these little amulets here. I'm peeking at one right now. Uh, these amulets are going to come out on some of the tiles. You can collect some of these. These are going to have powers that you can use as well. Awesome. And we've kind of already set up the game. But before we jump in, um, one quick thing. If you are watching live, go ahead. Please uh, leave a comment, interact with us, and you'll be entered to win uh, a giveaway of this very copy that we are currently yes. playing. And we do like to give away games here, so if you want to take a look at our screen, uh, the last couple winners from the last couple weeks, if you see your name on this list, please email us at manversusmeeple at gmail.com to claim your prize. And continue liking and commenting and subscribing to uh, try to win Nagaraja. Yeah, it's a great game. You're going to want to play it after you watch us play it. After you watch... Well, I, I want to boast here and say I'm going to win, but it I usually don't boast. win. You've it, played this it, game much more than I, I have. I have, but it's not one of those kind of games that's going to uh, favor experience. Right. There's a little bit of luck, which, you know, no, I'll say now, normally I don't love mm -hmm. luck, but this game, I feel like, handles it in a very smart way. And you'll see that as we play the game. Yeah. These dice really don't roll like typical dice in terms well, of yeah, what you're looking dice. for. They're a little like, they're, they're sticks. They're fate, fate sticks. Fate sticks. They're going to have some points on these things. The other thing you got to know about these things, in addition to these points, you're also going to have this little symbol here. This is a Naga. The Naga is going to allow us to use our cards in a different way where we use the powers to sort of mess with the other player or maybe benefit us a little bit. That's right. And we handed out some cards here already at the beginning of the game. We dealt out our starting hands. Yeah. So let me say really quick before we get started exactly what we're trying to do. Uh, one way the game can end is when one player has 25 points in relics. Now, all your relics are going to be worth points. In fact, your cursed relics are also worth points. In fact, bigger points than the typical relics. So if you get some cursed relics, it's not all that bad. There may also be some points on the amulets that you can collect throughout the game. So is it, at any point, when you have 25 points, you can reveal that and yeah. you've won the game. So it is kind of a race, for sure. A little bit, a of, little a bit of a race. And all the while, we're basically fighting for these tiles right here, these temple tiles. We're going to flip over these one at a time. You can see this little symbol right here means that's going to get a relic. So I'm going to put the first relic right there. So whoever gets this tile will ultimately be able to place it in their board however they want. When you place it, you have to place next to one of these three entrances or orthogonally next to any other tile that you've already placed. You don't have to make, you don't have to follow normal tile placement rules of other games. No, they don't, they have, don't to have to connect. don't have to connect, right? You just have to place them. They don't have to connect, but what you're trying to do is use those paths to connect to the various relics that are around the board. The moment that is connected back to any one of your three entrances, you're going to flip that tile. So like we said, if you flip a tile, you're going to get those points or have those points at least temporarily. Yeah. But one more way the game can end is if you flip over three of your cursed relics. And there are only three, so if you flip all over 
uh, over all three of your cursed relics, the game is going to end. You're going to lose in that case. Oh, that's scary. The only other way the game can end is if either player has their board filled with tiles, so all nine of their spaces have tiles, that's going to end the game, and you're simply going to add up your points and see who has the most in that case. Okay. So that's how we play. So that we're going to see this. The first thing we do is the call of fate. I wanted to get that right. Well, and the first thing we did, actually, before we started, was determine the play first player, which is this scroll, and you're the... The, the leader? The, the guide. The guide? I okay. am the guide. And this is going to be interesting because the first player has some benefits for sure. Um, we determined that because I just took it. And that's, <laughs> that's not, I, I said, I'm going to be the first the player. And said, I'm the so, guide. I am the guide. We each have five cards here. So when we're playing this, we're going to choose cards. And all the cards, I'll show you here on my screen. Hopefully Ryan won't look. All the cards are going to have I'm little symbols up in the corners. When you're doing the call of fate, uh, portion of the game, you have to use cards that have the same symbol. And what you're looking for is cards, these are, are going to give you fate, do, uh, fate sticks. So if I use some of these cards, uh, let's say these two for instance, I'm going to place those face down, Ryan's going to do the same, then we're going to reveal these at the same time, and then we'll collect those fate sticks in order to roll them. We're going to be rolling those fate sticks in order to try to secure that temple tile to add to our board. Yeah, it seems like lots of people in the comments loving the idea of these fate sticks. And I'll tell you, like, it is a cool tactile experience rolling these sticks. It's very different oh, yeah. I, I, from rolling dice. It's one of the best decisions they made with this game was to not use typical dice and to come up with these fate sticks for a variety of reasons. One, yeah. they're cool. And two, it kind of uh, changes your attitude about the fact that you're rolling dice and it's right. lucky, it kind of feels a little different and thematic. Yeah, and the, the distribution is just completely different than any other kind of dice out there. Yeah, in fact, speaking of distribution, you should know, there are three types of fate sticks. The brown ones here are the best ones for the fate points. This is the, the points you're gonna be using in order to secure the tile, because whoever has the most fate points is going to get the tile yeah. in the end. The white ones have a decent number of fate points and also one Naga symbol. And the green ones, have only two individual fate points, but they also have two Naga. You want to roll Naga in some cases mm -hmm. because if, a lot you of have, cases. Yeah, if you have powerful cards that you're wanting to use to benefit you, you have to spend Naga. And we'll get to all that in a second, but without... Yeah, you'll, you'll see it happen as we play these cards. Yeah, without explaining we'll it anymore, explain it we, it we will dive right in. So I'm going to select my cards. You can select any number of cards, but they have to have matching symbols in the corners. So I'm going to kick things off. Hmm with two cards. I am going to also then play two cards. All right, so now we would reveal those cards. Oh, it's gonna look fairly even. I've yeah, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green I've fate sticks. I've got five sticks. green sticks, uh, five green fate sticks and two white fate sticks. So I've got seven green and one brown. Interesting. So you simply pick all those up. Let's see what we get Roll here. them out simultaneously, or nearly simultaneously. All right. So as the guide, I'm going to have the chance to act first. Oh, no. You have a lot of Nagas. I have a lot of Nagas. I have one, two, three, four, five fate points right now to Ryan's seven. seven. So he's winning right now. So I need to maybe use these Naga to help me out. Um, and I'm hoping you can't. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a Naga to use this card here. This is gonna give me, allow me to draw two cards. So when you spend Naga, this is what mm -hmm. allows you to use the bottom portion of the card. It's the only way to use those powers. So I'm gonna draw two more cards really quick. Add them to my hand, mm, okay. And in this case, when you spend the Naga cards, they don't have to match that symbol of the cards you used for the fate stick. So no. you can use any cards if, as long as you have a Naga. If I pass, am I out for the round? No, you could pass, I and then it comes back to me. That's gonna continue until we both consecutively All right, pass. Then I will pass and let you take another action. Interesting. I, I want to I wait. I don't want to spend any of these cards too soon because right now I'm winning. I don't know what David has in his hand. He might be able to add more pips to his dice. But if he doesn't, then I'm going to win. So I kind of want to wait and see what he does. Here. All right, I got plenty of Naga to spend. So I'm going to spend another Naga and I'm going to play this card here. I'm going to just stack these up. They'll all get discarded. This allows me to target, which is this little red arrow means that I can use this card against my opponent. I'm going to target and say, re-roll your two mm. white fate sticks. Okay. 
Well, so that's I'm no down, better. Well, now it is. I'm only down to five. Oh, you are so down to five. Tied. So we are tied. Uh, I used a noggin. It's on you. I'm still going to pass. You're still going to pass. Hmm. Well, do I want to use another one of these cards? Um... I do not want to use another one of these cards. So you're going to pass as well? I am going to pass. So what happens in case of a tie? In case of a tie, I'll have to double check, but look at your cards to see if there's any cards that you want to spend. Oh, there is. Do I get another option too? Yeah. yeah. I didn't. Oh, you passed yeah. and I passed. Uh -huh. You don't get another so option too. So we just too. tie then. So in case of a tie, which we weren't anticipating. Uh, no, da -da. that's very rare for that to happen. I might have played differently if I had remembered, but... You know, this isn't how, this is not a normal game. This isn't a normal game. For me. Like, I don't play this game a ton. So. Ah, the guide will the guide win the tile. The tile. So I, I might want to I, I I like rethink that. that a little bit. Is that all right if I rethink yeah, that? Yeah, we'll let you rewind. Because I will, knowing that you get it in a tie, I will add my three extra pips to it. Ooh, so he played a card that gives him three extra pips. I wasn't sure of the tie. If, if nobody got it, I might have been okay with nobody sure. getting it. But so, you getting it, I don't know if I want I'm that. still going to pass in that case. So all these cards get discarded. Yeah, and I, well, I could play another card, actually. Oh, that's I'm not true. Go, I'm going to pass. That's true. I'm just going to end true. it there. So these all go back to their pools. Ryan gets the tile. And this is called the exploration phase. So he's going to be exploring his temple by placing that so tile. I'm going to place this tile right here. I do two things by connecting this. First of all, I get this because it connected to my entrance. And I flip this, which could be a cursed tile that wasn't. So Ryan's so got one need, relic. I need 20 more points to win. 20 more points to win. And while he's doing that, I can do what the loser of the round does. And that is every time that happens, this person is going to take three cards, look at them, Keep two and give the other one to the other player. Yeah. I am going to keep. Yeah, Ooh. so losing is actually, you want to strategically plan your losses because you can come back and get some good cards when you do that. And the loser of the round is also going to be the guide for the next round. Right. So, so I retain that. The guide. It was a, it was, you know, I did what I had to do or what I felt I needed to do. So, so a couple cool things happen there. I'm able to, as the loser, I take two cards, so I have a much more robust hand of cards mm -hmm. now than you might. And you can find yourself in this game with very few cards, uh, but you'll always have at least one, if not two, at the beginning of every round. Yeah. All right, let's see what the next uh, exploration tile is ah, yeah. before we decide how heavy we're willing to bet on that. Next exploration tile is a unique one, but it also still has an altar token on that's it. A weird, that's a weird one right there. Also, you should note, if Ryan had placed that differently, although I don't know why he would have, you could actually place those tiles so that you don't connect the altar token back That's to the true. entrance. And then ultimately you have to eventually connect to it to claim the, yep. the altar. Um, I am going to play two cards again. I'm going to play one card. One card, let's reveal. I get three whites. Three whites, I get three greens, two whites, and a brown. I like my chances. I do. I like your chances too. I rolled four. Ooh. I rolled five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a Naga. Yep. Do I want to spend a Naga? Um, That's totally up to you. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'll pass. I'm also going to pass. Okay. I'm just going to let you have this exploration tile because I can't really see a place for it in my build right now. So I'm going to take this one. Now, see, this is a unique one. And I want the card, so I draw three. Because it's not going to connect to any relic for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right here in the middle and grab this altar token. I'll let you have that one there. And these altar tokens, uh, I think we said earlier, some of them might have some points on them. Some of them have a couple unique powers that you can drop on your opponent when the time is right. Yeah. All right, I gave you your card. And uh, yeah, let's see what uh, let's see what's up. I lost, so I get to become the guide. Yep. For you the are first the guide. time, I am the guide. Now this one I like. Whoops! I flipped that up. I didn't even see it. Good. You're at an advantage here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play two cards. Two cards. Uh, and that's also why I played 
uh, one last time. I'm going to play one. Oh, somebody's asking which player board is which. It's hard to tell because the way we're on the side. I am right here playing on this board. I am right here. David is over there playing on that board. So I'm on the right side. David is over here on the left. Yeah. So hopefully that helps. Unless this side wins, then that's me. Yeah. Well, you know, whichever side wins is David, apparently. <laughs> All right. You ready to flip? I'm ready to flip. All right. I have two whites, a green, and two browns. All right. Three greens and a white. I don't like my chances as well here. I don't like your chances either, which is exactly what I wanted. But I have four fate points and one naga. I have oh my. more than that and one naga. <laughs> you do have more I than that. Have, I have more than that. You have 12 now. You're first to act. I am going to not use my Naga. Not use your Naga, huh? Yeah, I'm hoping you don't have anything in your hand that can make this difference back up. That's a big difference in our points right now. That is a big difference. And see, uh, using cards out of your hand isn't always about affecting that right here and there, but I could do some things to sort of make things a little bit more difficult for Ryan. That's, that's absolutely true. You could. Um, how many cards do you have in your hand? I have two cards in my hand currently. Um, so I'm going to spend my one Naga yep. to play this card, which lets me randomly uh, take a card out of your hand. So I'm going to randomly discard one of these two cards. Take this card. And it goes away. Oh, my greens. And I'm going to pass. I don't want to play my last card. I will pass too because I don't have any Naga. Uh, so. Oh, yeah. You have to pass. Yeah. So I could have used that to my advantage if, if I had something. It's a good position to be in to have your opponent run out of Naga. So... I'll take so you get the tile. tile and I'll take a look at the three somewhere. cards. Let's do this. I'm going to position this here. Since this connects directly to my entrance, I get to take it right now. And this one is an immediate. I draw another card. So I'm going to do that. And this is going to go out of the game. And you're going to pass me a card? Yep. Oh, you couldn't have passed me a better card. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to say that no matter what you pass to me. All right, and now I am the guide, so yep. I will be acting first. Let's take a look at the next tile. Ooh, oh, no altar. Interesting. Um, but an interesting broken intersection. Do I want that? I do want that, actually. I, oh, you play, you decide first, don't you? I do. Do you want that tile? How badly do you want that tile? And you have how many cards over? I have three? three cards in my hand. I'm going to but play. If you remember, we talked about you have to match the symbol when you play these cards. So even though I have three cards, I can't just necessarily play them all. And I bet David knows that the chances of me having three of the same symbol yeah. are pretty rare. I'm playing two. I'm playing one. Oh. And it's mine's a white and two greens. Yeah, I've got two greens, two whites, and a brown. All right, I've got. I feel very, uh, you're you're very weak here with my three pips. Ooh, I got nothing but pips. You got nothing but pips. All right. So that means I he knows that I won't be able to play any cards out of my hand. So there's nothing crazy coming. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fate points. And I've got three. So you can't spend a naga. Nope. I can, and I'm going to. So I'm going to spend this naga to play this card that lets me take a card out of the basically replace it with a card from the discard pile and put that card in my hand instead which is nice yeah that is nice it lets you do a few different things you could either uh, go fishing for a really good power or uh, look at the top of the card and get one that matches the card he has so he can right. play two cards next time I took one all right, so... Unfortunately, I'm out of Naga, so it's not like I could have taken something that would have saved me, so you're going to get that tile. Right, so no we what. both pass now, and I get that tile. I am going yep, to place it. I will it. become the guide, and I will take three cards. I'm going to place it right here so that I can flip over my first relic and have a path to the next one. Uh, yeah, to answer some of the questions, and again, hey, everybody in the chat. We are kind of paying attention yes. to everything that's going on. Um, yeah, to enter to win the, the to win the game, all you have to do is comment and interact with us here in the chat while we're playing, and you will automatically be entered to win. So, all right, I've got three cards here. While he's looking I... for a card, Matt, I'll answer your question. Uh, the explanation of the path, what's the goal of your board? We're connecting these paths to the relics around the outside of the board, trying to uncover 25 points before yep. everyone else and avoiding cursed relics at the same time. We each have three cursed relics we're trying to avoid flipping. All right. 
All right. Uh, let's see what tile we have before I go all, all in on my play here. It might be a good one. Uh, it's an interesting one. It's got it's another, another altar anyway. It's another interesting one. There are some that are really good here. Like the one of the best tiles is a four-way intersection with an altar at the center. Yes, that is one of the best <laughs> ones. I would love to see one like that. <laughs> but no such luck. I'm going to put down two cards for this. Hmm. I will put down... Uh, I'm gonna put two two cards down as one All right. as well. I've got uh, Ooh. five greens and two whites. I've got three whites. Yeah, I really didn't want to give you a that, green I, that and was a brown. A, you played the card I just gave you, which was a good one, but I had a reason for it. I rolled awful. Look at that. Look at all these Naga symbols, which means I can power basically every card I have, but I only have four pips. Ooh. What do you I, have, pip I wise? have seven fate points and two Naga, and you're first to use your Naga if okay. you want. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is spend this Naga to draw two cards. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. So that can be nice because he's able to use that to draw two cards. He still has a Naga and now two new cards <sighs> yes, that he might be able to exactly use. That's exactly right. Um, I'm going to pass because I'm still in the lead. Okay, I'm going to spend a Naga. Spend one of those new cards? And draw two cards. Oh, look at you cycling through the deck. I know, right? I'm still going to pass, Mr. Naga. All right, I'm going to spend a Naga. Oh boy. And have you discard two of your sticks. Ooh, discard two of my is uh who are those of my choice? I don't know. I'm going to reference that just to make sure because I wouldn't want to get that right. Is it my choice? It doesn't Oh no, you get, get you choose. get to choose. So we're going to get rid of the brown and the white for sure. Ouch. All right, so I'm down to two and two Naga. So now four. you're leading. You've got four. Yeah, I just spend a Naga. So it's I'm going to spend this Naga to add four more. Oh, no. So I've got so six. six. And I'm at four. Can you do anything about no, it? No, I kind of I played poorly. I should have played this other card in my hand first. I'm going to guess that has something to do with getting rid of my yep. cards. <laughs> it would have. So you're going you're gonna to take this one. All right. You pass. I'll take that tile. All of these get discarded. Yep. I stay the leader. Man, I need to get some tiles on my board. I'm going to place this one. <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to let you have... You only have one. You have no cards, right? So whatever I give you, that's all you get. Right? So you're I'm gonna, gonna get place this one. This card. one here. So I've been losing a lot, but I have card advantage now. So hopefully I can come back and win at this point, right? And I'm gonna go ahead. I just picked up and placed an altar on an entrance. I'm gonna spend that altar token, which allows me to yeah. uh, draw a card. To answer Peter, that is mean. It is a mean card to discard people's sticks, but. Unfortunately for me, David had a backup plan, and it didn't really come full circle for me, you know, unfortunately. And, and to that point, this game can be mean, and I don't like very mean games, but this one I is just part of what you're doing. It's a two-player game, first of all, so there's going to be some uh, back and forth and a little bit of take that, uh, and it's just a lot of fun to all do right, that. We've got a curve here. Oh, that's a unique tile. All right, I'm going to place two down. Um, I'm going to place one down. All right. I have All right. This three whites and a brown. I feel like you're going to be leading on the pips. Oh boy. I've got three, three and 3 4 5 6 7 8 9. Oh, nothing but nothing but pips. Well, that's interesting. I've got three and a couple naga. I'm going to spend a naga. All right. Uh, you're passing. I, I have assume. to. I have, you no have Naga. To. to play this card here, it lets me draw two cards. Oh, nice. But you only have one Naga to spend. Only one Naga to spend. I don't spend. think there's any card that adds six. How many? I have nine. Nine. I have nine. Can you catch up uh, to nine? I can't, but here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend this Naga to play this card that lets me rotate nice. a tile on my board. So I'm actually going to rotate this tile right here. Smart. So I was able to get that altar, yep, and, and now, now I'm rotating now it and opening up this relic. 
which oh is boy. a cursed relic. It is a cursed relic. You can tell that by their huh. orange reddish color. So that's one of three. If David gets two more of those cursed relics, it's game over for It David. is, but I have 11 points, maybe more, that you don't and know And I only of. have five. And you have five towards my 25 goal, so. I'm going to drop this right there, which doesn't do anything currently. Oh, that doesn't. But it might. You're going to lay better. one tile that does a lot. I'm going to try to. Yeah, that's the All interesting right. thing. You can set up your board as long as you're placing orthogonally. Don't forget to draw your cards. Orthogonally. Um, you can set up your board so that later in the game you can place one tile and, and reveal a ton. Yep. But if you don't know where your cursed relics are. Right, you could reveal all three cursed it relics. It could be dangerous. And lose instantly. Uh, oh, boy. Uh-oh. Um, I don't know if I like the way that sounds. <laughs> okay well thank you yeah the thing is when you give someone the card it's not like you're ever going to stick someone with a bad card right, all these cards in here are pretty good they're pretty good it's and really about what you want to keep for you know matching the top of your card or the you powers you don't know what cards I you don't know what symbols I have so you could be handing me one that does not flow with what I've got in my hand. Or you one that matches with other cards. Or one that matches. You... you don't know. It's a, All right. it's a gamble for you. So I'm going to... Ugh. Ugh. I'm going uh, to... David, how would you how would you uh, weight this game? What would you weight it? Weight? Weight-wise. Ah, uh, this is a light game. And pretty easy to teach. I mean, it's probably about a 10-minute teach. Yeah, it's very easy to teach. I mean, there's some steps to follow, but it's very straightforward. There's really just three sort of steps in the game. It's the Call of Fate where you're rolling and up the dice. Card. I am playing one card, and then you flip, and there's a confrontation back and Ooh. forth, which is the more complicated part. Four whites. Oh, I talk about we didn't, overkill. We didn't even look at the card or the tile. I just knew I needed it. I only have four greens. Well, I didn't know what you were going to play. So at most, I can get four fate points. So I'm probably going to have, hopefully I'll have you here. I think so. Well, maybe. I rolled three Naga symbols, which is actually what I needed. Oh, some boy. Naga symbols. Oh, but you got a lot of points on your sticks I did there. get a lot of points on my sticks. Um, what do you have there? Five, six, seven? seven? You've got two. I've got two. Um, I am going to spend my first Naga to play this card, which lets me look through the discard pile and grab a card. And I know which one I'm grabbing. Okay. All right. Well, then, I'm going to spend a Naga. And I'm going to make you discard a card at random. And hope, hopefully, it's the one that you just got. Ah! Oh, it is. Wow, that would have been really bad for me. He took my card that I just stole uh, to get rid of his sticks, but now I, I'm done. That was a good idea for um, that one. I am going to pass. All right, I'm also going to pass. All right, so, so you, you win you another get to tile. Stay the, stay the guide. Yeah, I take this other weird tile that now I have to figure out how to fit it into. You're going to have one big reveal, though, coming up. Potentially. Once you connect things. Will that connect those two or no? Oh, no, it wouldn't. I know what I'm doing. Are you sure? Are you sure? No. Oh man, these card draws have just been awful. Well, give me, give me one. Give me one good one. Give me one that's not awful. I'll make you a deal. If you give me one that's not awful, I'll give you one that's less awful next time. There you go. Oh, well, thank you. Um... Ooh, there's the four-way. Oh, four really? Four-way intersection. Really? Yep, that's it. All right, I'm playing this one. I'm playing this one. Oh, just one? Yeah, just one. Three whites. Three whites against five greens. This could be interesting. My yes. only hope here is to roll some Naga so I can use these cards, which was my plan, but we'll see how it goes. I rolled all Naga, so you're what? probably... What? And one yep. card? Yep. Oh, so I've got two Naga. I'm... Wow, I cannot believe I rolled all Naga there. Well, I have more Naga, so I'm going to pass and let you act first. I think I am going to to act first. I'm actually going to use this so you know I can't... I'm going to rotate this tile. Oh, interesting. So you're going to get something really good here, but I'm going to rotate this, which gives me this and this and flips this, which is... a. I have a cursed relic now, too. We have the exact, two, this exact same relics revealed so far. Interesting. 
All right, so I could still play a card that, with that. Not what I wanted. I wanted some of these to be card draws. Um, I'm actually going to take the opportunity, just the event that I don't roll a naga next time, yep. to spend a naga to play this card too that lets me draw yep. two cards. That's a good move to be at. Man, you're going to get that. I could have really used that for four way intersection. And then you have to pass, so I, I will pass. I will pass too, so right. I will get that nice juicy intersection. Yes, you will. Uh, let's see. I'm going to just put it right here. So that's going to do two things. I'm going to get this altar. You have a bunch of cards in your hand currently, don't you? And I got another 3 points. I've got 3 cards in my hand. Okay. In fact, I got another altar token that lets me draw another, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that and draw this. I'm going to give you... Oh my goodness. I have to give you one of these. Let's give you this one. That was the perfect card. I Maybe. I'm just kidding. Let's see what we got here. Another one of these weird ones. Interesting. Ooh, I've got an interesting plan here. I have to say, I've played this game, I don't know, probably... Oh, I was supposed to be the, the guide, so let me put down my two cards. I've played five or six times, but there's still some new strategies presenting themselves. Uh, and they're really less strategies and more tactics, because it really depends on what you've got going on in your hand. So let me think here. You've got two? Yep. Ugh. Oh. Putting two down. I'm, I'm betting my everything in my hand on this. This could go poorly for me, or it could go not. Hopefully, people are cheering for me in the comments. It looks like some people are. There's another Ryan in the comments who is, of course, on my side. So thank you, Ryan, for teaming with Team Ryan. I'm playing one card. Uh oh. It's a weird play, but I am. Three. A brown browns and two and green. Two greens, which means it's probably not going to be great for me. Well, I have you in pips, but I don't know what you've got. I in have hand. three and two naga, so and you're first to act. I have to pass. Oh, I you have no, no naga cards. or cards. Oh boy, this is your game now. What Interesting. Can you, what can you do to mess with me? Well, well, um, I am gonna consult something here in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and play this card though. This is a card in the game that allows me to put a trap. So I'll spend a naga. Ah, the trap card. This okay. trap. Trap tile that's been sitting up here is basically a completely broken intersection. In fact, it's just a pit of despair. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to place this on Ryan's board. I want to make sure. Uh, yep, I get to place it wherever you so, want. Hmm. I'm going to place it right here. That's exactly what I imagined you would do. Uh, just to make things a little challenging for your winding, crazy paths that you've got. So that's my naga. You still have to pass. Yep. Um, but you've got me. Oh, there's no way. Well. How many pips do you have there? Oh, you, you got me I've crushed. Got you, I've got you with pips. Got me crushed on pips. For um, sure. I will actually use this Naga to play this card, which lets me move any one of my tiles. Now, I can't rotate it. Right. You just move it from one spot to another. Um, but yeah, I can move it from one spot to another. And I think I will... I'm gonna just move this since it's not doing any good here. I'm gonna move it right there, right here. I don't like this trap thing either. It's kind of messed with my board for sure. In, right. re in retrospect, I probably shouldn't have. I, I I was thinking I was gonna be able to rotate it, but so I'd I forgotten the, that so I could. So I win the tile. I'll take it. I'm gonna have to. This is. I'm gonna put it here. I have to give the cards a shuffle. So basically, when you run out of cards, you have to shuffle them back up really quick. So I'll do that. Give them. Is just this the one. my card right here that I'm getting? No. Oh. That is one of the three cards that I'm drawing. Gotcha. It might. So it might be the one I'm getting. All right. Lots quick. of people are mad at you for putting that trap out, David. Oh, I'm really a, a super mean. Yeah, didn't you know that person. about? I've never watched David play. I am a horrible, horrible person. Uh, David is just a mean old guy in these games. I am a mean. I, you 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 hit old pretty did, hard I on did that hit comment. Old in there. Um, there you go. <laughs> is that a grumpy old man? Grumpy old man. That, ooh. Old man, way bright. 
This could be this could be not so bad for me. Let's see what the tile is first, though. Ah, just a straight up intersection. Not bad, but no alter. Not bad at all, actually. Well, I don't have much of a choice in play here. You have one card. Yep. Oh boy. Just the card you gave me. Um. So chances of me winning this one are low. Brown and a green versus a white and two greens. Yeah, which I can't even really use those greens. So I better hope for pips. Three. So I you got, got me. I got pips. I got six. And I have no Naga. I have no cards to spend. And you have no Naga. So I think you just get the tile. Well, that was that a was straight an easy, up. quick one. Okay, so here's the danger. I have a cursed relic here. Yep. I could place this right here. And open two more cursed relics. And if relics. the cursed relics are there, I'm. This game's gonna be over. Good. And we might have to play Perfect. again. Um, Perfect. So I'm going to actually place it. You know what? What are the chances, right? Uh, we'll find out. I'm gonna place it right there. We're gonna find out what the chances are right here. Oh no. Oh, that's a oh one. no. Oh no. Okay, wait a minute. So that's uh, 11, 17. I'm at 20 right now. Yep. Oh, please don't be cursed. Oh, Dang it. 25. Is that 25? <laughs> and, and it's a win, right? And I can't mess. I can't do anything to mess with that right so now. So 12 plus 10, 22 plus 3 is 25. Yeah, this definitely, this one right here definitely messed with me. So where do you think, where do you think your curses are? I don't know. Definitely had one over here. I mean, obviously. I must say there's a neighbor there. Yep. That would have been bad. And I, if I had done the same thing, oh, I would have nope. been okay. 50-50. Upper corner, look at that. So here's where all of our relics were. So here's my question, Ryan. Do we reset and play a little I bit mean, if more? if we can play, if we can do it quick. Let's do it. All right. So we're gonna reset here, so you can kind of see how we set this thing up. Obviously, you're gonna take all these relics. Yeah, and we'll play, we're not gonna uh, super explain everything this no. time. No. Because. We'll just play and be very quiet. <laughs> You've kind of got the idea of it. Also, I want a chance to win without this uh, trap tile being in my space. All right. You might get it. I might get or, it. Or you might not. We'll or let you not. be the guide the first round, too. Oh, thank you. I'm going to shuffle up the tiles really yeah, quick. Yeah, this is not a... Uh, yeah, this is quick. Yeah, this is not meant to be a long game. Uh, the only reason Although that, that was short. The only reason that that went a little long was because we explained a lot of it. We talked a lot through of it. When you, uh, when you play with you know, just two players that have played this game a lot together... It goes pretty quick. It's going to be probably max about 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah. Max. It could be a lot faster than that. It's definitely not meant to be a long game, but I would say that one that we just played is a little on the short How side. How many cards do you start with? Start with five cards, and then you just randomly put your relics five out cards. around I your already, board. I did put mine randomly. I did not peek. Mm-hmm. You can watch the playback afterwards. That should be five cards. And here's your five. All right. All right. I'm getting mine just Shuffle so. Shuffle the blue reward tiles. Good point. I did. I oh, did. you did? Yep. Never mind. David's already ahead of that. I kind of mixed them up. Looked at them, but I kind of mixed them up too. Really? Because we got the exact same starting tile we had last game. No, no. We didn't. Was it? Yeah. I'm going to see. I'm going to play a little differently this time because maybe that play wasn't the best. I recommend one. playing better. Oh. Well, good. Now I know to play better. <laughs> You're the guide, sir. Two I cards. Two cards. Um, all right. I'll see your two cards. All right. Two, uh, three whites and a brown for me. I've got three whites and a whole mess I, of green. I will tell you right off the bat, to anybody watching at home, I didn't have any real green cards in my hand. I really wanted to get some Nagas right off the bat, but I didn't have it. So three, four, five, six, seven for me. I've got eight and three Naga. Wow. So I'm, I'm having troubles all across the board here. And I'm the leader, so I have to spend my Naga first. I will spend it to draw two cards. Interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I'm winning right now. I'll spend a Naga. You are winning right now. To draw Unless you want to have me re-roll some cards. of these, or maybe you'll re-roll some. I'm out of Naga, so I have to pass. That was quick. Um, somebody said we should take out the trap. Yeah, once the trap is out, Matt, um, once the trap is in play, I can still manipulate it as if it was one of my tiles. Yeah. So if I had had another turn, I might have been able to switch that trap 
with another tile somewhere that I didn't need and reconnect that route. So while it does mess with your strategy, it is not a game ending debilitating hit. And I think that's why uh, it's kind of acceptable. Like, yeah. There's plenty of cards in the deck that allow you to yeah. manipulate your board. So you, it's just whether you want to choose to do that or not. Are you done spending? Uh, I am done spending. So right. I will get that tile. You'll and get that tile. I'm just I gonna stay put the guide. Right and I get there. to draw three of these. Oh, I definitely want. Hey, these. that's reminiscent of last game. So I'm starting with five points here. Wow, five points off the bat. Already. And I got an altar token that lets me draw cards. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. All right. Can't ever have too many cards in your hand. In fact, there is no hand limit either. Another one which of those is weird nice. ones. What do I want to go for here? Oh boy. I know, right? I don't know what I, I know what I want. I'm going to do this. I'm putting two down. I'm hmm. going to try for a comeback here. Since, you know, I got Ooh, and I that's got a lot five of greens. A lot of potential nagas for you. That's what I'm hoping because I didn't get any that first round, really, and I needed needed them. I've so. got a fair amount of dice here, though. Oh yeah, I got some nagas for sure. Three of them. I got eight. Three, four, five. I got seven. I have eight and one naga. You are first to use your nagas, All right, sir. First naga I'm going to use is to draw two cards. Someone just said you wondered if the game is too quick. Like I said. That game was on the short side of, of yeah. things. I got really lucky. I took a chance um, and revealed there. It could have been a much smaller relic that I revealed, yeah. and it would have kept going and for a while. is isn't meant to be super long. I mean, we, you don't want this game to be super long. I mean, it, any of these two-player games, for me at least, the sweet spot is like uh, 30 minutes, really, yeah. for a two-player game. I will define the sweet spot differently. The sweet spot for a two-player game for me, or any game for that matter, but a two-player in in particular is when you're finished you say let's play again right exactly and, when and then maybe enough, even again right one of my favorite two-player games is raptor which is a pretty quick game we got gary in the comments professing gary. his love for david <laughs> all, all right. right so are you gonna spend a naga uh did you i did i drew two cards oh hmm, hmm. I drew two. I'm gonna and I'm gonna pass right now. Okay, I'm gonna spend another one to play one that lets me return a card from the discard. I'm gonna take this one that draws two cards. Well, I will say technically these cards are oh, not they're not in, in the, the discard, discard pile, pile yeah. so you can't cycle your own cards. What about this one from last turn that draws yeah, yeah. two cards? Yeah, no, no, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> All right, then I'll do that. Uh, I will still pass. And I'm winning right now. No. no, you're winning right I'm now. I'm winning by one. You have one, two, three. You have seven. I have eight. All right. Let's add. You have one more Naga. Let's right. add four to mine. Four. So you have 11? Yeah, I have 11. To my eight? Yeah. I'm hoping you don't have one that adds three. Um... I am going to spend my Naga to draw two cards. All right. And that's it. We're both out of Naga? Yep. All right. So this goes up. You get this. Sweet. I really enjoy this game. This is a fun game. How many cards can you play on each turn? You can play... So to roll the dice, you can play as many cards from your hand as you have matching symbols. And then that's just to roll dice. To actually play them for their action, you have to spend those naga snake symbols on your pip so you can play as many cards as you have those symbols rolled but only one at a time right so you go back and forth just spending one single naga each time you can't just say i'm gonna spend okay, three naga this and do is all a this plus one card draw for me oh nice and you have to have oh, a card I'm, too. Lo I'm looking at cards oh you are um i gotta look at my cards too i got a pretty healthy hand of cards this I think round this game metafire this game compared to raptor oh. i mean they're very very different games i love raptor i love the the unique uh, asymmetric gameplay of that and the way the cards play out but this game is so much fun i mean it's it's just the rolling the dice and the playing the cards and trying to outwit and guess what your opponent's going to do at every turn this is an easier game to teach i would say as well sure. not that raptor's difficult but um this is a more it's certainly more accessible in my experience i've taught this to people who really enjoyed it, who 
weren't fans of Raptor just because it's a little bit more of a yeah. gamer's game, I think. All right. Well, let's see what this... Where, where, how is this going to turn out? I'll probably get the tile. Hopefully. You can have this tile. Hopefully. Really? You don't want the... You just you can, can just concede? Oh, you know, you play first. Um, well, let's have some fun. All right. All right you're going to do two. Whoa! I got a brown right. and a white and a browns, whole mess a of green. I've only got three greens. So, so you're going to be playing cards from your hand all day. I hope so. Well, you can have this. And I hope I get a lot of pips here. I don't really have a space for it. Ooh, I got Naga, but I got it on the white die that I didn't oh, want. Oh, that's right. And then I only got three pips, four pips total. I got nine pips total. Oh, my God. All right. So you, have I'm, all, you have Naga for days, though. So somebody just asked how many cards you can play. David can play a lot of cards. All right. I'm going to spend one Naga. I'm going to spend the white Naga just to get it off my table to play this fun little card. And get rid of two of mine? Mm. That's, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, you want to get rid of those two. I was thinking about getting rid so of I'm one two and, and then a Naga. Four, is that correct? Interesting. Well, I don't want this tile, but I do want... To draw cards? To draw two cards. Well, I guess I'd play that here and draw two. And I still have it now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I'll pass. All right, I'm going to spend another Naga, and I'm going to draw two cards. I like having a big hand. All right, and I got no Naga left. So. I pass, you pass. All right. All right. Your tile. My tile. I couldn't figure out where to put that in my plan because... You're just going to put that trap tile down on me and it's going to be all messed up again. Which, if I'm lucky, I'll put that trap tile down on you. This is right here. All right. There you are. I got my whole giant hand of cards. A regular four-way intersection. Now, there is no hand limit, which I like. Hmm... I'm going to play two. Uh, I, what's the pip distribution on each type of dice? We There is a little card that we're not using that comes with yes, it. Um, I think your brown, your brown die can get up to five. Your white die can get up to three. And your green die only does one. And yeah, you can see so it if there. You can see this. It shows you all the different possible sides of the different dice. So... You're going to get more chances for Naga with the green, for sure. Yeah, generally speaking, the brown has all yeah. fate points. Uh, the white has one Naga right. and some fate points, Ready and the green's mostly... Yep, flipping. I got three whites and three greens. Ooh, this could be interesting. What did you do? Oh, two browns, you two and, browns, two browns and two whites. I'm going pit heavy I needed here. some Nagas. And I, I got some, unfortunately, on my white tie. Ooh. I hate when that happens. I got five pips. I got I have 13. You have 13? <laughs> you have 13. 13. I have five. Let me say it one more time. 13. And I have five. Okay. I think, I, I think I'm going to be okay. Oh, uh-oh. I'm going to use this. Oh, yeah. I have 13, but I can't play any cards. I'm going to get a cards. card out. Or, no, that's not the one I want. It's the one that discards... Oh yeah, you have. I'm gonna discard a randomly random card from your hand. How random? Uh, like this, super this random? random. Let's do this one. Mm, mm. Not what I wanted. Uh, I always like holding on to those though. And then I'm Extra going to good. spend a naga since you don't have any. I'm gonna draw two cards. You're just gonna go naga crazy here. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna spend a naga to take a card back from the discard pile. Ooh, which one do I want? Uh oh, uh oh. It wouldn't help me to to. Oh. Knock out your pips. You're at what? Eleven? Something crazy like that? I'm at thirteen. Yeah, even if you got rid of my brown, I'd still have sixty or five. You're right. So that would be bad for me. So. Yeah, the best you can do probably is just to increase your. All right, I took standing. a card back. And last thing I'm gonna do. Man, you've got a handful of cards. I do have a handful of cards, but I'm still going to pass. So All right, so we both pass. Tile. I get the tile. You're still the guide. Yep. You look at some cards. I'm going to place this. Um, there you go. 
That was an easy decision. I'll place for me. it here. Ooh, the four way with the thing on the center. Now, this is one we want. Oh, boy. For sure. Yeah, this is probably. If there's one tile you want in the game, it's probably this I'm one. This play, is the card you just gave me? Yep, and I'm playing three cards. Three cards? Yeah, I'm playing three cards. Oh, man. You said it. This is the tile you want. And you're right. I want it. I want this really bad. Oof. Um, and you have to play at least one card. Like, he's playing yep. three. I can't go, you know what? I'm just going to save my cards. I have to play right. one. Um, you have to play one. So I think I will play... This is where I'm going to lean on my card advantage here. I'll play this one. All right. I got a lot going on here. I have a brown and two greens. Oh, really? Yeah. Green, two whites and a green, and then four greens. I oh wanted my. it. I oh, got, man. I got cards to play for days. Now, see, it, oh, yeah, a lot of those are the extra, a lot of those pip extra cards. Pips. I was like, might as well just I hate roll playing them. those. Wow. That one stood straight up. You know what? All that, I didn't even roll that many Nagas. Not many Nagas? No. Oh, my. I rolled three Nagas. I've got two Nagas and three pips. I got 12 pips. Or fate points, so I get to as choose, it were. I get to choose first. So I'm going to spend one of these. And let's have you discard a card from your hand. I don't know what you've got in there that could mess with me, but I want Not that one. Uh, it wouldn't really mess with me. All right, now it's your turn. If you um, want to play any of that. Nah. No? All right. Nope. Then that's it. Maybe, yeah, I, maybe I, I went a little overboard. I couldn't save one I got to play a little defensively here. Well, you're going to catch back up to me in cards here, but I really wanted this. This is a good one to have. It's going to yeah, give me another is. card, so no bonus points for me. But more cards is always good. And right off the bat, I reveal my cursed, cursed treasure. So oh, I like that. that. Cursed relic right off the bat. What do you like? I don't know that I like what you like. Oof. I don't want to give you this card, but I am. Oh, why did you give me that card? I don't know. I'm playing two. Oh, I don't even know what we're flipping over. Another one of these weird curved ones. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll play two. All right. A brown, two a white. brown, a white, and two greens for me. Ooh. I have a holler, higher tolerance for luck for shorter games. That's a good point because when the game is, is short and quick, it's not a huge deal if something doesn't quite go your way. Like this, where I got no Naga symbols whatsoever. Hey, that's, that's, that's all right, but you have a lot of pips probably. Yeah, but I wanted the Naga symbols. So I've got three, five, six, seven. I have 13. Do you? Yeah, I have 13. Oh, my. Not one single Naga. So oh, it's kind of hard I'm to see. Probably him. not catching that. 13. Um, hmm. I don't know. How many cards do you have? I have one. Oh, then you're probably not going to catch it. But do you want to spend your Naga? As I, I might spend my Naga. You're not spent. Oh, you don't have any Naga. Hmm. Do I want to spend this? Um, no, I don't. I'm right. passing. That's it then. I really wanted the roll one Naga, but I'll take this tile. So I'm going to throw this here, take this one, and flip this. There we go. Not a cursed relic. Thank goodness. All right. What do you got for me? All right. I can deal with that. Can you handle that? I can dig it. Oh, that makes you the leader this time. We got another one of these weird ones. Interesting. Hmm. 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 <laughs> hmm. Well, you got to tell me what you're putting down first. Yeah. I'm putting down one. Yeah, Peter, I'm with you too. I don't, I don't love when when the game is completely luck driven to the point where you might as well not even play the game up to the last roll. Like, yeah, and this might, this know, game doesn't this game feel is that not way at like all. that at all. No, no, no. I got lots of greens here. Oh, you're playing two. Oh my. Yeah. 
You really must have some cards you want to play. I do. Seven greens. Seven greens and a brown. I want to get some Nagas. I've got four greens. All right, I got some Nagas this time. I got a Naga. I got four Nagas. There we go. What's I your points? Start. Five, eight? Eight. And you're first to play. Um, I'll pass. Are you going to pass? Mm-hmm. Well, then I'm just going to pass. No, you get the tile. All right. I didn't think that was going to be that easy. You want to reshuffle those, too, I after will. you place your tile. I'm going to take. I'm gonna put this one here because this is still kind of connected to my network. And I don't know what that one does, actually. So I will shuffle, and you can... Oh, explain this? Yeah. You can explain that. That's a good one. I think it cancels the bottom effect of somebody else's Naga, doesn't it? Yes, if I play a Naga card... Now you know I have it. Yes. I spoiled it. For that, that icon means that if I play a Naga card that does anything, he can reveal that and basically Did cancel that Naga card. Did you draw your cards card. from here? I, there oh, were, there, were, there were three. One. There were three. There were three, exactly. So, all right. Another weird one, but you're the guide this time, so... Yeah. I don't know that I really like Two. this particular one. Yeah, a lot of interesting decisions in this game. I mean, even when you're choosing the number of cards you're going to play, play one. you find yourself out without a lot of cards in your hand. It really changes the dynamic of how Two you're playing. Two whites and a green. I've got a six lot. greens and a brown. You're, you're going to do well. Hopefully. Hopefully I get one Naga here. And I did. It wasn't on the one I wanted, but I did. So I got three. I've got, oh, excellent brown roll. Five, six, oh, seven, yeah, that, you're, you, eight, that's a great, and three Naga. That's great for you. So I'm first to act. Yep. I'm going to spend one Naga. Uh, to play this card. You got that one again? I did. I just picked it up. Otherwise, I had to have given it to you. So I'm going to place that right there. Okay. Or no, right here, actually. All right. That's fine by me. All right. I've got I'm gonna, eight tier three. So I'm going to spend my Naga to rotate this tile. And not a cursed mm, one. Nice, nice. Um, I'm passing. Oh, I could have canceled that, couldn't I? And you know what? I didn't. I'll just leave it there. That doesn't hurt me. I'm passing too. So you're going to have, you're going to get it. Yes. I'll get this. And let's see. Oh, you know what? I sh wasn't supposed to reveal that. Oh, you're not connected to it. I'm not connected. David, don't So here's, cheat. A, here's an interesting thing. You know, you'd think, oh, I revealed that. Now, I do have that information, so I shouldn't have that. However, if you've ever really revealed a relic much. and someone moves the tile or rotates it, it's going to you lose that relic. flip back over. So I'm going to place this. Oh. Oh yeah. What have you I can have done? That. What have I done? Yeah, I have an have awful done? board. Too. That's why I was What an awful, about awful it. board. Ay ay ay. Well, you have to place that before I can reveal the next tile. Yeah. Um, Somebody even called you on the comments for it. What? That I played in that green tile, that relic. Oh, on. they did? Yeah. I'm gonna place here, but I've got the world's ugliest board. I, I'm really setting you up to win here. I've taken some bad, bad tiles. Yeah, and uh, Man of Fire brought up a good point. When we place these tiles, like, you can try to set up for, like, a big move, but the game might end before you get to trigger your big move. So yeah. you, you kind of want to, like... Or someone might place a tile that messes up your right, big move. Right, so planning for a big move, like, trying to de delay out the game and, like, get a really big move is a good strategy, but somebody could mess with that. And it is cool that you have some options of how to get there. Oh, another one of these? I don't know. I guess... I guess I'm going to go with two. I, I think I can do something with that tile. Um, I'll go with one. All right. Got three whites and two greens. 
Oh, three, three greens and one three white. Three greens and a white. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh, I got three pips. I got four. Did you really? Four and a naga. All right, well, I'm going to spend this naga. I'm going to get rid of two of yours. I'm going to get rid of those two. Okay. So you can have your one pip and your one naga. What a pathetic situation this is. <laughs> it's really is it bad. my turn? Yeah, it is your turn. Um. Well then, I'm going to try to rectify things, and I'm going to use this naga to play this card and swap two tiles. Of your own. Of my own. This yep. is directed towards me, yep. and just to make sure. Yeah, I think they stay um, the same orientation they were. If I build, maybe not. Do not pivot yeah, them. I think they have to stay. So I'm going to do this. So now you'll get that one open. I at least have that one. It's right. still an ugly board, I will tell you that. Oh, and then I'm passing and you're out, right? So. Yeah. Awesome. All right, I'll take this and you'll take this. And. I am light on cards. <laughs> well, I'm going to take a gamble here, just like you did before. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Come on. This would be a beautiful thing. Oh, oh, and that's 25. Oh, is it? Should be, yeah. 12, 22, 25. Nice. And actually Same score as last time. Oh, you had extra points. Yeah, I had nine points here, and I was sitting on another three over here on the altar. Man, that was a close one, too. That was close. It could have been. Where was where was mine? Oh, on the other side. So I, I was pretty safe. See, that time the trap, you'll notice that time the trap did not debilitate my strategy because I didn't really leave a space for it. David kind of had to put it somewhere, and I was able to just build on the other side of the board. If you had put that trap here, I would have come to this side of the board with my yeah, tiles you, instead. Yeah, you so built a, built a much little better, better, board better board than board I did. Time, so. These, I got a bunch of wonky tiles, and I placed them poorly. That's You know what happens? Well, yeah. All right, well, that is uh, that was Nagaraja, guys. Thanks for um, tuning in and watching us play. Uh, we'd like to thank you guys for um, supporting us and a special thank you to Game Toppers for giving us that great playing service you just saw, uh, giving us this great table and sponsoring the show. And we want to say next week we're actually doing something a little different. We're not going to give all the details right now, right? but we're doing something a little special with tiny towns that you're going to want to pay attention to. Yeah, we're still in the process of figuring it out exactly we're going to try to do it live here next week yeah so. it's going to be a little different than anything we've done before so you're going to want to come next week and somebody said we should play a tiebreaker maybe you know maybe next time david's on the show we'll you know what a, we will we'll, showdown. next time but, i'm on i will play a tiebreaker of this really quick we're, but we're going to be giving this away like i said so just like and subscribe and follow us and comment and you'll be ensured to win we'll announce that winner sometime soon so thank you david for coming by and playing Thanks. the game Love it. And we will see you guys uh, next time. Bye, everyone.